Hey guys, today's video is going to be another try on first impressions type of video and the brand we are going to be trying out today is called Pretty Vulgar. I was recently telling you guys that I bought a ton of things from this brand and I asked you guys if you wanted to see a full face first impressions and a lot of you guys said yes so that is what we are doing. This brand really intrigued me because the packaging on everything is just really really cute. A part of me absolutely loves it and then another part of me kind of doesn't. I feel like half of me loves really girly makeup like this like look at this this is the setting spray it looks like a perfume bottle that is so cute a part of me really loves makeup like this and then the other part of me likes really sleek black packaging that's really really simple it's like you know so I could totally see why some people would think that some of this packaging is a little tacky but I find it kind of cute and I've seen videos like this floating around the internet because this is a pretty brand new brand brand new brand to Sephora but I have forced myself to look away I haven't watched any video on this brand because I want to make my own opinion although I have read a ton of reviews on the Sephora website that doesn't really count <laughs> so yeah everything I will be putting on my face will be pretty vulgar the name is strange too like pretty vulgar I don't know if I love that to be honest anyway I'm having coffee right now this is actually a colada but I'm not gonna drink this whole thing I promise not even half I just didn't feel like pouring them out into the little things Oh, I wanted to mention, Pretty Vulgar does have an eyebrow pencil, but I guess I didn't notice when I was buying all these things that I completely forgot to buy that. So I have my eyebrows filled in, and I didn't buy any of their eyeshadows. I know, don't kill me. They have a bunch of eyeshadow palettes, but I'm going to be completely honest with you. They didn't call my attention. There was something about the packaging, and I didn't want to buy it if I wasn't going to use it. I have, so, I have too many palettes. So today's video is mainly like a first impressions on the base, but I will be testing out their eyelash primer and their mascara, so... It's kind of like eye products too in this video. Okay, enough chatty chatty chatty. You already know the drill. So it doesn't really seem like Pretty Vulgar makes a foundation primer. So I'm just going to use my Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer. I find that this is a good primer no matter what foundation I'm putting on. Because it's not too luminous, but you know, it does a good job of like priming the skin. Their foundation looks like this. I actually really like this packaging. It looks like a squeezy tube, but it is a pump. I actually prefer squeezy tubes, side note. I know everyone loves pumps, but I like things that can squeeze. And this is their Blurring Beauty Mousse. And according to the Sephora website, this is supposed to be like an all-in-one type of thing. It's supposed to moisturize the skin, prime the skin, and it says it's a lightweight foundation that's just supposed to even out your skin tone. It also says it's a face-perfecting blurring beauty mousse that is incredibly blendable and has lightweight coverage. And it also has diamond powder in it to enhance your skin's radiance decrease the visibility of fine lines and wrinkles and minimize the look of pores wow i purchased mine online and i got the shade walking on eggshells hopefully it matches me and honestly when it comes to products like this that are a bit moussey i don't like to use a beauty blender there's something about a moussey consistency and my beauty blender that kind of grosses me out so i'm just gonna pump oh this oh that's tick oh that's really tick i'm scared this isn't shooting out very well. Maybe I have to hold it up like completely in this angle. That's the problem with these squeezy type tubes that have a pump. Like they just never really work out. And I'm gonna take my It Cosmetics Love Is The Foundation brush. Oh, that's mousy. Oh, but it doesn't feel thick. Okay. Let's just, it's a little, a hair too dark for me, but we'll make it work. This does blend in like extremely fast. That took absolutely no effort at all. But that only did like this side right here. I definitely have to apply more. I'm not a huge fan of this pump. Yeah, you definitely have to hold it like vertical like this because if you try to pump it out this way, it doesn't pump out. It's just shocking how like fast this blends. Like you put it on and then it just like disappears. But I don't know how I feel about it. Like, let me finish, let me finish. I feel like at first I wanna slide it around but then I wanna press it in. I'm getting the hang of that little pump. Okay, so now that the foundation is completely on my face, I'm having one of those moments where I don't know how I feel about it. I will quickly say, I think it blends in extremely fast. This is like the easiest thing to blend onto your skin. And I would say it has light to medium coverage. I think you can build it up. I will say though, I don't know if it's just because I have dry skin, but does this ever happen to you with moussey products or foundations where it kind of just looks like it's sitting on top of your skin? It doesn't look like the foundation really sank into the skin. It kind of feels like, it kind of looks like it's just 
laying on top. I don't notice that too bad with this foundation. There are other moussey foundations I've tried in the past that really do that to me. I think it looks pretty natural. See, like around here, it looks like it's just sitting on top of my skin. And I feel like it's just so easily removed. Like, look at this. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but that just wiped right off my nose. I think that might be the drawback with this foundation. I have a feeling, especially by the way it feels on my skin, that this might come off really easily. I don't know, I don't know, maybe I'm misjudging it, but anyway. So far so good, it looks really nice on the skin, it looks really natural. Man, they even have an eyeliner pencil that I didn't get. What is wrong with me? Okay, so now let's dive into some concealer. This is the Undercover Concealer, and I picked mine up in the shade Little White Lies. This is supposed to be a lightweight concealer that has kind of like a gel serum consistency. Just gonna, ooh. This smells identical, identical, to the Urban Decay Naked Concealer. And I think it also smells like the MAC Pro Longwear. I haven't used the MAC Pro Longwear in years, I feel, so I don't remember what that smells like, but it smells just like the Urban Decay one. Am I putting too much? <laughs> That's what it looks like. I'm gonna take my little Tarte Unicorn brush thing. I don't know the name of that. And I'm just gonna blend that in. This dries fast. That's already setting. Let me blend that. I think I like that. I do think it dries pretty quickly, but if you move quickly, it works. Let me highlight the rest of my face. I would say this concealer has really good coverage. I would call it full coverage, totally. All right, so Pretty Vulgar doesn't have a setting powder, so I'm just gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I'm gonna use a little bit of that to set underneath my eyes. All right, so I'm not gonna set the rest of my face because this doesn't feel like it needs to be set. And I wanna see how this foundation does without setting it, but maybe I should, you know what? Let me set my left side. I don't think this is gonna make much of a difference, but let's just see if it does. For bronzer, I'm going to be using the Bronzed Bee Powder Bronzer. It comes in this packaging. It's really cute because the bronzer is in this rose gold packaging. Their blushes are in the same packaging, only it's like a classic gold color. And then their highlight is in silver packaging. Really cute. I like that. I have two bronzers and I purchased the shade Son of a Bee. I like that. And I'm going to take my e.l.f. pointed powder brush and I'm going to bronze the skin with this. Tap that off. I'm always nervous to try a new bronzer. It's my favorite makeup item, like it's my favorite thing to try out, which is weird because how excited can one person get about bronzer? But I get excited. I really like the undertone in this because it is a warmer bronzer, like it's nice for the summer if you have fair skin, but it's not orange, so I like it. I like the color at least. And it does seem to be blending really nicely. This is the side I set my face, so it always blends nicer on top of foundation that's been set. This bronzer is really pigmented. I really like the color. I think it really gave my skin a nice tanned look while still at the same time it contoured my face. So I think I really like this. Okay, for blush, I purchased two colors and they're actually pretty similar now that I look at them side by side. One is just a little bit more peach. These are the Make Them Blush Powder Blushes. I think I'm gonna go with the peachier color. You guys, you knew that was gonna happen. This is in the shade Sweet Revenge. And I'm gonna take my Morphe M462 brush. It's just like a round stippling brush. And I'm gonna pop these on my, this on my cheek. All right, so I definitely think it applies blush nicer on this side where I set down this foundation. So even though it didn't feel like it needed to be set, I still think you should set this with a little bit of powder. Besides that, I really like this blush color. I think it would be really nice for summer, especially if you have kind of like a golden tan to you. This will look so beautiful on your cheeks. It's matte, but it's not chalky or anything, and it almost feels like it has a subtle, barely there glow. Alrighty, I'm not gonna lie, I have been waiting to put this on my face. This is their Shimmering Swan Highlighter. <laughs> The name is funny. And this is in the shade Glimmers of BS. And it's described as a pink champagne highlight. I haven't put this on my face yet, but I've swatched this and the swatches are so beautiful. I'm gonna use probably my favorite highlighting brush ever. This is the Zoeva 134 brush. And you already know. Oh my God, that is beautiful. <laughs> sure, I have a hundred highlights that look like this already, but that's okay. 
This is extremely reflective. So definitely keep that in mind if you're someone who prefers a subtle highlight. This is not for you. Okay, so now let's try out these guys. I'm not gonna lie, when I pulled these products out, they look a little goopy and a little thick, but I have high hopes, let's see. I'm gonna take the Down Below Lash Primer in the shade Blackbird, and this eyelash primer is a little bit different because it is a black color, and I usually like the black ones. I don't really love white eyelash primers. The wand is really weird, it's kinda like a paddle. It has thicker, more spread out spikes at the top, and then thinner ones at the bottom, so let's see how this goes. I think I'm gonna use the skinnier side. Ugh. Oh my god, I don't like this. I don't like this. <laughs> Let me use the thicker side. Okay, this is getting really clumpy for an eyelash primer. And it has great reviews on the Sephora website, so. Uh, oh my gosh. What? What is that? I don't know about this. Ugh, there is so much product on this wand right now. I'm gonna take my Morphe B71 thingy and I'm gonna comb out these terrible clumps that that lash primer gave me. When you brush it out, it actually looks good. Okay, so now let's take the mascara. It looks just like the primer, only with rose gold. This is called the Feathers Mascara and it's in the shade The Raven. And even this one comes out with a lot of product. Look at this. Like, there is a lot of product on that wand. I'm gonna take a lot of that off. I don't wanna make the same mistake I made with the primer. Wish me luck. I feel like that primer already dried. So, I don't know how this is gonna work. Sorry if my camera was going down. This tripod is still messed up. And my new tripod has not come in the mail yet. So, forgive me. I think that primer dries really fast. You're gonna have to apply mascara really quickly after you apply that primer because now that the primer has dried, it's making the mascara look kind of dry and clumpy and I definitely should have applied mascara immediately. It's probably best to do one eye at a time. Man, I feel like I can't judge this mascara correctly because of the primer. Bugus! Okay, so I really like how my lashes look but they do look a little spidery. Let me try to fix that. I feel like this combo gave me really dramatic lashes, but I definitely needed to comb through them. If I didn't do that, they would have been a hot mess. I'm gonna have to work with that primer a little bit more, see if I could take some product off before going in with that. But it did give me some drama, that's for sure. Okay, so let's finish off this extremely simple look, everyday glam, with a lip color. Now, I purchased three different lip products from this brand. We have the My Lips Are Sealed Liquid Lipsticks, which they are like traditional liquid lipsticks that we're used to. These are more of like a metallic liquefied lipstick. It doesn't dry down, it has that foiled metallic finish, and I thought it was gonna be like a metallic liquid lipstick that dries down, but after swatching it, these don't seem to dry down. So. I don't think I'm gonna put this one on. I think I'm gonna do this little combo right here. This is the Bury Them With A Smile Matte Lipstick. That's a weird name. But I really love this packaging. It reminds me of old school like makeup from the 20s. Ugh, I don't know. It just looks vintage to me and I really like it. So this is in the shade Prim and Propa. And it's their nude. Really, really pretty. Let's dive right in. Okay, so I really like that. Usually when lipsticks are matte, because we are so used to the liquid lipsticks now, a matte lipstick doesn't really look matte or doesn't really feel matte. They're more of like a hydrating kind of matte. But this is actually matte, but it feels really, really comfortable. It didn't tug at my lips and they don't feel drying at all. And just for poops and giggles, I'm gonna throw this on. This is the Poisonous Pout Plumping Lip Gloss and this is in the shade Pick Your Poison. I'm just gonna pop this on top, even though I don't want to. I much prefer this matte look, but let's just see if it plumps. This doesn't really have that much pigmentation to it. It's more of a sheer lip gloss. I mean, no. It looks pretty pigmented on my hand. I'm gonna give it a couple of seconds to see if it starts to tingle. I mean, it says it's a plump, what? I'm starting to feel something. It says it's infused with a natural peptide complex that's supposed to make your lips appear firmer, smoother, and fuller. 
And yeah, that really completes this look, guys. I have gotten so many requests in the comment section to do a check-in at the end of the day so you can see how this wears throughout the day. Every time I post one of these first impressions, I always get comments like that. So I thought I would do that for this video. It is currently really late right now. It's 2 p.m. Not like really late, but I started filming this really late. And I'm just gonna keep this makeup on and then I will come back to you guys at the very end of the day, right before I'm gonna take everything off. And we're gonna talk about how it wore. Let's see. Let's see how it looks at the end of the day. But you know what? I'm gonna take this gloss off and I want to test out just the lipstick alone because I just I really like this lipstick and I want to test how long it wears and I really have to be in the mood to wear gloss alright so I'm just gonna leave this on my face I will come back to you guys at the end of the night and I will give you my final thoughts oh no wait wait I'm sure a lot of you guys are like no wait the setting spray I heard you guys I heard you I felt you I felt you screaming at me I forgot to try out the setting spray and this is what I was most excited about I want to apply this to my face in a way where I could really test it out but that's pretty difficult because we don't know if the foundation just lasted or if it's this so I'm just gonna spray half of my face and I'm gonna do the side where I didn't set my foundation I'm gonna do this side ah that just shot on my face I don't like the spray on this. That is gonna leave little drip marks for sure. The trick to setting sprays like this is to just spray up and just let it fall on your face. Because the mist is definitely not fine enough to spray from right here. Some setting sprays are really fine, so you can do that that close, but not this one. Now I will come back at the end of the night and give you my final thoughts. Hey guys. <laughs> so I just woke up from a nap. I didn't really sleep much last night and I just laid down for a second to read a book and the next thing you know, it's freaking 9 p.m. <laughs> so I had to come over here and give you guys my final thoughts. Okay, so looking up close, you know, I think it wore pretty nicely. It lasted a decent amount of time. I mean, it's been on my face for like seven hours and I could still see the highlight on both sides. This is the side where I set with powder and this is the side where I just set with their setting spray. But to be honest, I can't really tell the difference. So I don't think the setting spray really did much, if I'm gonna be honest. It does look a little cakey around my nose, not gonna lie. It also really faded on my chin, by the way. It is a foundation that's kind of easy to remove. I scratched my face here earlier. You kind of see like the lines. <laughs> but besides that, I kind of like it. I also kind of like this lash primer mascara combo. It's definitely extremely clumpy, but I really like the effect it gave me, so I'm gonna play around with that a little bit more. And the lip I really liked as well, but it faded pretty fast. The thing with this lipstick is it is matte, but it's not the kind of matte that sets and dries. It's a little bit more of a hydrating matte, so it was just kind of like sitting on top of the lips. It never got too dry, so it faded about three hours in. I ate dinner and all that stuff, and it was gone. But it lasted about three hours, which, you know, I could deal with that. I could reapply. Psst, no problem. But yeah, guys, okay. That was my final check-in. Oh, my hair looks crazy. I'm gonna take a shower and then go to bed. I hope you found this video helpful. That completes this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Okay, enough. Go, 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 go. No? The Incredibles? No? There's some spreading... Spreading. Spreading sprays. <laughs> some spreading... <laughs> but I am coffeeed out today, so...